What's going on YouTube? Alvin here and in this video I want to talk to you guys about what I actually carry in my camera bag in 2020. Now I've only been doing YouTube for a few years and on those years I've actually been traveling to different places and I've been carrying all my gear with me. Now I've been acquiring different pieces of gear over those past couple years so I do not recommend that you guys go out and buy everything that you see in this video. First you kind of want to have some experience to kind of figure out what it is that works for you and that what you will want to acquire and two you don't want to just spend a lot of money on things that may not even ever work for you. So without further ado, let's get into what's in this backpack. Before we get into that, I want to give a special shout out to nobody that's sponsoring this video. But in all seriousness, let's get into the backpack. And the one that I use is the InCase Camera Pro Pack. Now, I really like this backpack. It's got the right size and um, comfort you definitely want to be careful because there are two different versions of this backpack there's also the in case i believe it's the in case dslr pro pack now that backpack is a little bit smaller a little bit shallower this one is deeper and it's made for full frame cameras so if you have a 1dx mark ii or anything like that um, this camera is more suitable to carry those but i do also recommend the in case dslr pro pack it, that was actually the backpack that i had before i upgraded to this one but because i had a full frame camera with bigger lenses i wanted to get something that could accommodate that so this is my backpack of choice for right now well, let's get into what we actually store in here now one thing i like about this backpack is it's back access now um, a lot of videos have told you that when the backpack is back access um, it's more secure that you don't have to worry about people getting to your backpack from this side and stealing your camera equipment and it also allows you to put your backpack down and not get your back dirty so i really like that access but what i like about this backpack in specific is that the back access actually swings open um, this way now you've seen other backpacks that open this way. I feel like that takes up a lot of real estate I like this because it opens out I can see things on both on the same plane um, very easily. I really like that design. So anyway The first thing here you'll see is an open slot and that's where my main body my Canon EOS R is stored that is currently shooting this video so you don't see it here the other thing that's attached to that is my main lens which is the tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8 version 2. i really like that lens um it's very well built it has a very good picture and the f 2.8 aperture is perfect so that's what i currently have filmed this video and i'm able to show it to you right now the other thing that's also recording that's helping to record this video is the microphone that i typically have right here it's an empty slot and that is the Rode Video Micro. Now, that is a very small microphone. I really like it because of its size. It doesn't need any batteries to power it on and off. So that is very convenient when you're on the go when you're shooting and you don't want to have an enormous camera rig. So definitely recommend it. And the audio quality isn't that bad. I mean, listen to this video audio. That's what you're getting from the Rode Video Micro. So definitely a good investment. The other thing I have in here is the Canon 16 to 35 f4 image stabilized lens. So I really like this lens. It gives you a wide profile as well as a pretty good zoom range. So this is pretty good for vlogging. I highly recommend that you have something like that with with a 16 millimeter, 16, 15 millimeter, and it goes up to 35, which can get you some good portraits and it's really good for street photography. So very good lens. I really like it. I got this one used. So I highly recommend that you, if you don't have a lot of money to shell out for new equipment, search out the used markets. Um, you, you'll be surprised what type of deals you get. Behind here, I have my camera strap. Um, I had I keep it with me, but I don't use it a lot, and I'll, I'll tell you why. And behind there, I have a battery charger that I use uh, for my camera gear. So that stays here. The other thing I carry with me is the Canon 50 millimeter f 1.8. This is the nifty 50 that everyone talks about. I keep this with me because one, it's a 50 millimeter lens. Two, it's very small and three has an f 1.8 aperture the picture that you get on this for portraits are pretty awesome it doesn't take up a lot of space in my bag so i keep it with me at all times i may not use it all the time but it's good to know that i have it with me and it's not that heavy it's very light so it's made out of plastic but it's still durable 
So that's in here. And because it's so small, I can actually double stack this area. So below it, I actually store some of my batteries here. So these are the batteries for the Canon ESR. I have about six of these. So I store them here in the bottom and I just stack this on top of that. So it's pretty easy. Onto a bigger lens, not so portable. This is the Tamron 70 to 200 f 2.8 version 2 lens. Now, this lens is a beast. Um, it's a beast for many reasons. One, it takes great photos. Video quality is awesome on this thing. It's very sharp. Two, it's a beast because it's heavy. Um, sometimes I hate carrying this thing with me, but whenever I'm on a trip and I realize that I do have this in my backpack, I am so thankful that I have it with me because the picture quality on this is awesome. So, And it's black. I, li I like that it's black because uh, I don't know if you're like me, but I'm not really feeling the uh, the Canon L series um, white or beige color lenses. Uh, it just looks a little off to me, but this kind of blends in more with my Canon EOS R, so I really like that. So Canon, if you're listening, try making a um, 70 to 200 lens that's um, matte black like this, because this is an awesome color uh, combination. Below that, I kind of have a little pouch here that kind of keeps some um, chargers and um, cables in there, so I kind of keep that in there, but it's nestled pretty nice in here in the backpack and just keep it stuck there. Awesome. The other thing I like to carry with me is my drone. So this is the DJI Mavic Air. One of the smallest drones you can find out there, but it has awesome video quality. Now this drone is about almost two years old now, so there's probably a version two coming out within the next year or so, but I definitely like carrying this with me. It's so small that I keep it with me at all times. You never know when you want an aerial footage or um, video, so I like to keep this with me and it's pretty awesome for that type of stuff. I have also uh, invested in the Fly More package, so it comes with the charger that charges four batteries. Here's the charge cable that I keep right here. And then here are the two extra batteries that I have uh, with that. So I have it, I keep it here in this uh, fire retarded um, case, which is pretty cool. So all that fits pretty nice and snug in these pockets. In here, I have my action camera. And this is the GoPro Hero 6 Black. So I've had this for a couple years now. I've just started to use it a little bit more. Haven't really felt the need to use it until the last couple of trips I've been on. And it's come in handy. So I always recommend it somebody that you have an action camera in your kit somewhere. In this pack, I also have like two extra batteries here. And I have some other gadgets and things like that, like a helmet strap and some of the accessories that you use to, you know, mount your GoPro to your helmet or to your body or to anything. So that stays in here. Also that what I carry is some filters. So I have my ND filters. This one, this is from Freewell. So I have a variety of different filters. Some are polarizers, some are just UV filters and others are ND filters. And this one's from Freewell, as I mentioned before. I like this because it's a nice variety of filters, but it's not, at, it's not expensive. I, I really like this. This is a good deal. I, I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link below in the description and the quality is pretty good. So I keep that here in my camera bag. I also forgot to mention the DJI controller. So this is the controller for the Mavic Air. Um, and what's cool about this is the joysticks actually come off so it makes you um, fit it into your camera bag even more easier. So good job for that on the design. Here in this small pouch, this is a low pro pouch. What I carry in here is what I call my secondary camera or my vlogging camera. This is the Canon G7X version one. So it's very old. I've had this thing since 2016. It served me well. If you look back at some of my older videos, all of that was filmed on this guy alone. So um, it holds a special place in my heart. I'm glad that it still works. I mean, everything is pretty fine. The only thing is I did um, crack the screen back here. So be careful about that, but it still works. This thing is built like a tank. I mean, this thing has gone everywhere and I didn't really treat it the best and it still works. So I really like this camera. When you're in a pinch and you need something to vlog with decent quality and audio, this is it. 
there are three different versions now. You got the Mark II and the Mark III that just came out, but I, I, I still don't find myself having the need to upgrade because this thing has served me well over the years. So definitely like it. And I keep it right here, the bottom of my backpack, right there. Now, on to some of the accessories I have. So in this backpack, you have different pouches down here. I just got some little bags here for some hardware for some of the other accessories that I have. I kind of keep those in there. But you can put whatever you want. Sometimes I put lens caps in there. This thing, this is the Freewell Remote Monitor Sunshade. Now what's unique about this thing is, let me show you. If you have a DJI Mavic Air or Pro or whatever, what you do is you put your phone in and you know on those very bright days, sunny days, when you're trying to view your screen and you can barely see what's on the screen? Well, that's where this thing comes in. So. It opens up like this. Basically, there's some straps here that you can slip it over the controller, and then it goes over, it goes over your phone screen like this. And that way, when you're viewing what's on the screen, you're blocking out the sun and you can actually see what you're doing as you're flying your drone. So I like keeping this thing with me. It stays in the backpack all the time. It folds in flat, so I'm able to keep it with me. So definitely recommend you guys having that. That goes right here pretty easily on top I have in the ziplock bag this is where I keep like my multiple SD cards and some dongles and different cables and things like that so fits perfectly in this little pouch and that's where it stays so that's it for the main camera part of the backpack um, one thing I wanted to show you guys is this is the peak design capture now this is version 3 and what this is is it helps you to actually rest your camera on your backpack strap so you can have your hands free whenever you don't need to use your camera pretty ingenious design there and I'll definitely recommend that if you want to have a hands-free experience invest in one of these it'll come in handy one day so I keep that on my strap at all times all right on the side here is what every YouTuber tends to have. This is the Joby Gorilla Pod. I think this is the 5K version. So I keep this to mount my camera anywhere or do you use it as a tripod? So if I can put my camera on top of that, use it as a vlogging rig, you know, things like that. Um, it's very multi-purpose and I love having it here. And obviously these are the straps for putting your tripods here. So right now I have my Joby attached to that. I'll also show you what I also attached to it as well. My Manfrotto B3 travel tripod this is the beefy live and i believe this is version one it's very small and compact this is the aluminum version there's a carbon fiber version that's made of this same profile but definitely um, lighter than this but this is doesn't weigh too much um i usually don't always carry this on my travel backpack but i always carry it with me when i travel in either my suitcase so that whenever i ever need to carry it with me i can attach it to the straps on my backpack and have it with me wherever i go so pretty cool tripod back to the backpack did i mention that this thing is top access so one thing you can do is you can access your gear from the top here so your main camera you can actually pull it here from the top and zip it back whenever you're done with it or whenever you want to um, keep it closed. So definitely like to have that here. Let's move on to the middle section of the backpack. Man. All right, so in here, I carry some sunglasses for obvious reasons. I have my Bose QC25 headphones. These are noise canceling. And I also bought an adapter by AirMod. I'll link a description below that can actually transform these wired headphones into wireless headphones. So pretty cool feature. I definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a wireless option, look into that. Another thing that I carry with me is a first aid kit. So in here, this is where I carry my medications like ibuprofen or Tylenol or anything specific. If you need some hand sanitizer or some bandages, I keep that all in here. I think that's a very cool tip that you guys carry a first aid kit with you. You never know when you're gonna need it, but it always comes in handy. And I couldn't tell you how often I actually dive into this bag to get something out of it. So pretty cool. One other cool feature that's a part of this backpack is it comes with a um, rain cover. So I keep that tucked in at the bottom of the backpack, but um, it covers the bag. One thing I do wish is that this rain cover would be a little bit bigger. I think it's a little small for the bag, but it gets the job done in those situations. So I keep that very deep in the bottom of this backpack. So put this stuff back in. 
All right. Also, what's in the middle section is your laptop compartment. Now, this is sized appropriately for a 15 inch laptop. I don't typically carry a laptop when I travel, but when I do, it has the capacity to store it. But what I do carry with me is my iPad. Now, this is the third generation iPad, so it's a little bit thicker than your newer generations. So for you guys that have the newer ones, it comes in very handy with this because it makes your profile even smaller and you can fit it in perfectly in here. So I carry that with me. That way I can view my content on my iPad or I can just watch videos or movies, anything like that. I also carry documents with me and the laptop compartment is perfect for storing documents. So anytime when I travel, I need to print out like my uh, um, my reservations or itineraries. I keep them in here and I store it in here neatly. And what I like about the middle compartment and the laptop being in the middle is that it keeps things nice and neat and tidy and it's not pressed against my back, which makes the back support a little bit too rigid and too hard and uncomfortable. So I like the fact that in case decided to have their laptop compartment stored in the middle. I really like that design feature. All right, moving on to this other pocket here. This thing keeps going. All right, so in here, this is where I keep my filters. So I have a little case here, and I have a couple of filters in here, some smaller ones. Um, I have some step up rings, and here's my ND filter here. So this is a KNF Concept ND filter. So obviously, you use an ND filter, they're like sunglasses for your lens. So I like to keep this with me. This is a very good and affordable option out there. So I'll link a description below. KNF filters, very good quality for the price. The other tip is I recommend that you have these step up and step down rings. So I bought just one ND filter. This is an 82 millimeter. And because I have different camera sizes, I just buy the step up and step down rings for those camera size mounts and I attach it to my 82 millimeter to allow it to adapt to any of my lenses that I have. That way I don't have to buy like three or four different ND filters. I could just buy the step up and step down ring and they're lighter, so easier for your backpack. All right, so that just sits right here in the top. Here I've got, you know, a pen obviously and I've got a lens brush and cleaner. Um, so it's pretty handy to have that stuff with you. Here in this little pocket, this little mesh pocket here, this is a SD card to lightning port adapter. Now this is pretty cool. So if you're ever on the go and you wanna see the content that's on your SD card, you can just get this adapter, take your SD card out of your camera, connect it to your iPhone, and you can read whatever is on the SD card on your iPhone and you can actually transfer that data onto your phone. So pretty cool tool to have. I've definitely been some spots where I can't really transfer the stuff from the device over to my phone if you're like wireless technology, but this comes in handy if you ever wanted to do that. So definitely recommend that you guys pick one of those up. And here, this is another dongle that I have. This one is from Anchor and they make a um, SD card reader with a HDMI port as well as two USB ports. It connects via USB type C and it also comes with a nice little cloth. Um, so I thought that was a neat touch to that, but I keep that stuff here in the front of my backpack. So I'm gonna just put all that stuff right back in here. Now, let's talk about power banks. So this is my travel power bank. This is a Mophie, it's a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. It comes with two USB ports. One is rapid charging, one is regular, and it charges via USB, uh, micro USB. This can probably charge my iPhone maybe three to four times, and maybe an iPad maybe one and a half, two times, but it's very useful to have. I highly recommend that you have a travel charging bank. That fits right here. And this guy, this, is my favorite gimbal out there. This is the Zhiyun Weeble S gimbal. This thing is small and portable and very user friendly. I love having this thing here. I've only had it for a couple months. Um, it hasn't been out that long, but man, the shots that I've been able to get with this thing has been unbelievable. I also carry the tripod um, legs that come with it. But what I recommend that people do is pick up this little adapter here. This is a quick rapid release adapter for your tripod. So you can actually do that because if you don't have this, you have to thread this thing on and off every time you wanna move it from the bottom to the top of your gimbal. So I highly recommend that you have the combination of these things. So that fits right here in the top. And below I kinda have my universal charger 
it charges via four different USB um, ports. This one's made by Swiss Mobility. What I really like about this one is you know you can remove the different attachment heads for that so if you're going to a different country and you don't necessarily need that specific um, charge plug you can always remove it interchange it with a different one that's appropriate for that country you can keep moving and bam you have four different usb ports um, to charge your equipment with so very portable very convenient not too expensive so definitely recommend you have one of these in your travel bag and that's usually what i keep here in this spot what I like about this backpack is it's got more pockets. So there's a small little pocket here. I tend to keep like lens cloth or um, maybe some gum in there as well. But um, that type of stuff I kind of keep here. It's not a deep pocket, but it's cool to store just little small things like maybe some chapstick you can store that in here. But again, more compartments to store more goodies. The outer pocket, I put little small things in here. In this case, I have just some disinfectant wipes that I kind of keep here in the front. It's a little bit deep, but it's not a, a wide pocket by any means. So anything that's flat and flexible, and you can store it in here. Pretty good extra space for just those small little items. And then, it keeps going. There's one more pocket here on the side. So this is just an extra pocket. Now, one thing I don't like about this backpack is it doesn't carry a water bottle holder. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I still have more pockets here for other things. In here, I store my aperture LED light um, in here. And this bag's a little bit light because my aperture LED light is not in here. It's actually back there illuminating that um, prop in the background. So um, whenever I don't have it out here as a prop light, I keep it in here and it's stored safely in this little small pocket in the front. So that's where I keep it. And it's zipper access, so I like that because it keeps things nice and secure. Yeah, that's where it's at right now. I think that's about it. That's, that's everything that I carry with me now. Granted, this backpack is very heavy, but the straps are very comfortable. It allows you to carry a lot of gear on you for a long period of time. There's the sternum straps here that I like. Kind of keeps the weight distributed properly on your shoulders. What it doesn't have is a waist strap, which would be nice to have um, to kind of further help you with carrying that weight for longer periods of time. But yeah, these these straps are pretty comfortable. So uh, and the back is uh, very breathable. It doesn't get too hot on your back. So decent design there as well. Yeah, so that's everything that I have in my camera bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, like it. If you love it, sub to the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.